So thank you so much for tuning in today at FitCam TV. I have a special treat for you. We're going to interview my college buddy, actually, Crystal. Um, we went to undergrad together, and I'm excited to have her on today. She's going to share a little bit about her story. Um, if you haven't had a chance to check out my other videos, please do at FitCam TV on YouTube or go to my blog at FitCam.com. So Crystal, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm super excited to share your story and where you've been and where you've um, gone with that and just everything you've learned along the way. So just to share a little bit with our viewers, viewers, tell me a little bit about you um, growing up. I always like to start with kind of what was it like in, in uh, as a teenager in high school? Did you play sports? What was that trans transition like into college? Because that's really where I see a big change for a lot of my friends and people that are our age is there's a, it's a lot different when you get to college. So tell me a little bit about that. Did you play sports in high school? Were you active when you were younger? Yes, I've always been very active. Um, I've been in many different sports, but I swam competitively in high school and middle school and I did that for several years. Um, and I, my family wasn't the healthiest eaters, but I think it's because they didn't really know how to be. Mm -hmm. I know that we were a lot healthier than a lot of people, but a lot has changed since then. So um, I was limited on certain things that I couldn't have a ton of soda, but I did eat a lot of junk food and things like that. Um, when I went to college, there was not a swim team, unfortunately. So my working out kind of went a little bit uh, by the wayside. I tried to keep up with it, but um, with working full time, being in school, it was hard to do as much as I would have liked. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely a time where my fitness was not as much as I was used to. And um, what about the food piece of it? Because, you know, I gained the freshman 15 twice before Christmas break. Um, what was that? With it being the cafeteria, because we went to Northwood University, in case everyone didn't know. Awesome. Um, and it was this very small campus. But as far as uh, cafeteria food, you know, being in the dorms, because it's not like we had full kitchens, what was that like for you with the food side of it? Uh, definitely a hard time. And I had the same thing as you. I had uh, definitely gained the freshman 15. I would go to the cafeteria and I'm one of those people that can't go to buffets because I think I need to try everything. <laughs> so if you're doing that every day, obviously the weight packs on, um, not having access to a kitchen, a lot of microwave foods, um, just junk food, things on the fly. So mm -hmm. definitely not getting the nutrients I needed and I definitely gained some weight when I went to college. <laughs> okay. And so were you, um, because being a swimmer, uh, one of my good friends is a swimmer and it's, you know, you're, you're used to being lean, having, an, you know, a certain physique. Uh, what was that like for you mentally as far as your self-esteem and confidence um, when you weren't the way you looked in high school and just that whole transition? What was that like for you? Uh, it was definitely um, a new phase for me that I wasn't used to. I had never really been worried about my looks or weight before. So it wasn't a fun time. I mean, I didn't have a very high self-esteem. You wear looser clothes and don't mm -hmm. really want to do certain things. Um, so, yeah, it definitely took a toll on me. Okay, yeah, bathing suit, su bathing suit season, you're just like, oh, great, fabulous. I definitely <laughs> remember that. <laughs> so after college, what did that look like for you, or when did you start to make changes? Um, after college, I definitely had more time again, so I got back on track with working out. Um, it's definitely been something that's always been really important to me. So as soon as I had the time again, I was back up to you know doing something physical at least five days a week. It's always been really important to me. Uh, as far as my eating went, I think that I thought I was being healthy, but there were a lot of things then that um, were kind of fads and such that people didn't know weren't good for you. Mm -hmm. So I believe after college is probably when I started counting calories and um, I don't, I actually, I do know that I was not making sure that I was getting the right nutrients from those calories. So just because you had, you know, 2000 calories in a day, if it's from pizza and Doritos, it's probably not the best thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but at that point, I mean, I knew what foods were bad for me, but I kind of fell into that fat free craze where everything you were supposed to eat was supposed to be fat free and that was good for you, which now I've learned is not. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I don't want to say I was always a fad dieter, but that was something that was kind of a fad. And there were a few other things that I probably got um, involved in that weren't the best for my body that I didn't know at the time. But I was trying to be healthier, and I was kind of trying to find out what the answers were. Okay. So, and I was totally, I knew every diet under the book. That's why I think it's helpful working with clients is because you know where they've been. You know, I know the South Beach diet and all of those different diets that were out there. And I think, yeah, I, I was able to control my weight after college, but I wasn't truly healthy. And I think that there's a big difference. Do you agree with that? I agree completely. 
And that's one thing with you and for those watching that don't know, Crystal is actually a coach uh, at Beachbody. Um, I'll put links down in the description and I want you guys to check it out. But I've been following you on Beachbody and what I've noticed is that what I like, what you're sharing with people is about what it means to eat healthy, real food, what we're designed to eat, not just 2,000 calories, but what does that 2,000 calories look like? Um, can you tell me a little bit about how you made that transition away from counting your calories to learning what about real food? Um, well, I do still count my calories, but now I make sure that I have the right nutrients in those calories, and that's just because I like to, um, if I don't, I kind of start to fall off my off track. So for me, I have to hold myself accountable. But um, when I moved to uh, Milwaukee, which my husband and I was the first time we lived together, we were dating at the time, I think that kind of one of my turning points, I decided to do this cleanse that I had heard about from a magazine that was from a gym I used to go to in Michigan. And I read a book that involved this cleanse, and it mentioned a lot of things about organic foods and um, eating the certain nutrients to make sure that you're getting all the components to live a healthier lifestyle. And it kind of broke the surface of the ice for me. So that's where I kind of started paying attention, and it just little by little moved into um, a completely different lifestyle for me. Like if I look back five years ago, I'm a completely different person as far as what I put in my body and how I take care of myself and what I know. So. That's awesome. And how do you feel? Uh, I feel great. I feel better than I've ever felt in my life. Um, like you were just saying earlier, it feels like I feel better now than when I was in my early 20s. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like my skin looks better. I have more energy. I just, um, everything feels better. I can tell when I put good things in my body and when I put bad things in my body. I can definitely notice the difference. That's huge. And one of the things I do a lot of lecturing on is uh, teaching people about sugar, um, gluten. Um, I don't do much with dairy directly, but I'm always talking about it indirectly um, just because, you know, you have to be somewhat careful about what's going to get people excited. Um, and I don't, you know, I don't do dairy. I don't do gluten. Um, what have you found in what you've learned about uh, following a plant-based diet? Because isn't that what you follow? A plant-based yeah. diet? I, all of this is really recent for me, but um, I was having some health issues that um, were bothering my stomach, mm -hmm. and so I started cutting foods out because I had heard that um, gluten and dairy are inflammatory, so mm -hmm. I just wanted to see if I could take care of things on my own. And then I started researching gluten more and finding out more about, you know, the things that may not be that good for you with it. So I personally have decided to cut gluten out of my diet um, pretty much 100%, and I've also cut dairy out. Um, almost also 100%. So since January, I have been almost vegan, and I eat eggs still, that's the one thing that I'm not going to give up, but um, <laughs> it's hard to get my um, required amount of protein. Same with me, yeah. <laughs> out eggs, and especially if you ever go out to eat or anything, a lot of places don't have beans, like enough of that sort of thing to fill in that protein gap. So, and I work in a restaurant, so I have to, <laughs> it's at my restaurant. But um, I, I'm not 100% vegan, but I'm going to be. I just had some things in my house that had whey protein and such in them that I wanted to use up. But I definitely feel better eating a plant-based diet, for sure. And I don't have the issues that I had when I was eating gluten and dairy as far as stomach um, issues and having bloatedness and uncomfortable feelings. Yes. So for me, I feel all around better. I was just going to ask you because you and I, like I said, you guys, I'll put a link, but she, Crystal, you're looking awesome. Your body looks great. Yep. Did you notice that it helped even this year going into January until now? Did you notice a difference when you dropped the dairy and the gluten and things like that? Yes, I definitely did. Yeah, I noticed that too. It just kind of helped lean out. So it wasn't so much I'm watching the scale going, I need to weigh this certain amount, but I did notice that I just kind of leaned out a little bit more and I was like, that's a nice side effect that showed me that I was holding all of that extra stuff for no reason. Yes, exactly. Okay. So to finish up, tell me a little bit about Beachbody. Um, people always ask me about, what do I think about this program? What do I think about that? Is Beachbody, is the supplementation program such as their Shakeology, is that part of Beachbody or does that just happen to be what they recommend? Uh, it is definitely part of Beachbody. So Beachbody is an amazing company. I'm super happy that I am a part of it. I'm glad it fell into my lap. Um, I, as you mentioned, am a coach. So we offer products, um, vitamins, supplements, workout programs, even some things that you would use in the workout programs like bands, equipment, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. 
Um, my job as a coach is to work with people on an individual basis and help them reach their health and fitness goals. Some people have a bunch of weight to lose. Some people want to just start to learn how to eat healthier. Some people just want to get in really good shape. I mean, there's such an array of people that need to find out how to be healthier and some people just need a little extra new workout. So, um, but we offer our flagship product is Shakeology. Shakeology is the healthiest meal of the day. <laughs> it is um, a protein, it's a nutrient um, packed meal replacement protein shake. Oh. And it has over 70 of the healthiest ingredients from all over the world. And these ingredients are a lot of ingredients that people supplement with. And um, you actually can cut out a lot of money by buying all those separate supplements and just drinking Shakeology every day. Okay. So it's kind of, um, awesome in that aspect and it has a ton of health benefits. Um, we don't obviously put claimer, disclaimers on any certain thing but there's many people that have had been able to get off an array of medications that they had to be on because of the health benefits wow. and it just makes you as a person feel better, have more energy, um, you're getting all these nutrients that a lot of people miss out on. So that's something that I actually started drinking it before I became a coach and it's what got me wanting to be a coach because I feel so good from drinking it and I was telling everybody about it. <laughs> so um, along with that we have workout programs mm -hmm. and some of the workout programs that we're known best for would be P90X. And oh Sandy. wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, now it makes sense. Fire, Brazil butt lift, uh, <laughs> Mavs, we have a ton of different workouts. But the list goes on and on. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> but the workouts are great and you know it's nice to be able to work out from home and be able to just pop in a video and not have to look cute to go to the gym mm -hmm. or worry about um, you know who might see you or people that maybe have some weight to lose are shy to go to the gym because of what they're wearing or you know how they look so it's nice to be able to just run downstairs pop in a video and honestly I've had a trainer before and I had great results but um, going to the gym on my own and following you know workout programs from magazines or whatnot I actually get way better results from the programs that Beachbody offers than going to the gym on my own so that's great yeah, it's a great perk. So right now I'm doing P90X, which I've done it before, and it definitely gets results, and it's a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. But I did it. I tested it out to do a review on it, and I was like, dang. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe how many. It was just back, I think, and it was back in, I don't remember, but I was like, wow, I just did a lot of pull-ups. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so it was, I felt very sore the next day. I was like, there is something to this. So I really like their programs a lot, and I like how he does so much with keeping the body guessing and just changing it up and, yeah. and just with what you've expanded. And then the other thing I wanted to ask you about was the reset your metabolism, because I have a lot of people who ask me about that. So our, um, we have a 21 day cleanse, it's called the Ultimate Reset, and the cleanse is something that I personally did myself in January. Um, the cleanse actually, uh, many people, it lowers their blood pressure and their cholesterol extremely, a lot of people enough to get off medications, and that is something that we've actually published. And this, um, uh, the Ultimate Reset was published in I think Chiropractic Magazine about the great results that people have had with it. So that was something that was awesome for us. Um, but it's a 21 day cleanse that you start out um, with, the whole thing is clean eating, but eventually takes you all the way down to vegan and it cleanses um, years worth of toxins out of your body. It really just resets your body back to its normal factory settings. So a lot of people just in everyday life you're obviously exposed to pollution and um, chemicals and such in your food and even if you live a healthy lifestyle like we do there are chemicals and things that you should be cleansing out of your body mm -hmm. so it's a fully comprehensive non-starvation cleanse that uh, it makes you feel great and um, definitely has major results as far as weight loss for some people and getting off medications and things like that cool okay well we'll definitely post links on that too if anyone wants to check it out um, any last parting words as far as just tips to stay motivated, um, just to write what you recommend to, you know, live, make it a lifestyle, but what do you recommend for people? Um, I think that one of the things that is huge for a lot of people is accountability. So obviously myself as a coach, I hold people accountable and that's one reason that we are so successful with our Beachbody coaching um, the way that we do things but even if you know you're just get an accountability partner in a friend or a sister or a mom somebody that's gonna help you and push you and make you want to you know get your fitness in every day or help you eat better um, I think it's really important to surround yourself with people that you want to be like if you want to eat good and um, be healthy you need to surround yourself with those people um, surround yourself with positive people 
I think that's made a huge difference for me. The more positivity you have in your life, the more good things come your way. So um, just that ties in so well with the fitness piece of it, to have both of those in your life. Um, it's a great thing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's perfect. I love that so much. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to do this interview with me. Um, like I said, I'll post your contact information below. That way everybody can get in touch with you if they'd like to follow you, check you out on Facebook, and obviously your Beachbody uh, coaching program as well. So thanks for being here today. Um, and for those watching, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe at FitKim TV on YouTube. Remember, go to my blog at FitKim.com. Check it out. On the right sidebar, you can sign up for my e-tips. Once a month, I'll send you a newsletter to keep you motivated and going. So thanks again. Have a great day. And we'll see you soon.